Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So today again I am back with next day of Jenkins series. In today's lecture we are going to learn what is CI CD, why CI CD is needed and how to deal with plugins in Jenkins. So let us begin. CI CD is a method to frequently deliver applications to customers by introducing automations into the stages of continuous delivery and continuous deployment. So CI-CD is a solution to the problems integrating new code can cause for development and operations teams. So what exactly we mean as a layman term? CI-CD is the process by which you can deploy your applications into multiple stages and deliver your applications too frequently to your customers. So now what is the process? The CI-CD process includes continuous integration, continuous delivery and continuous deployment. In continuous integration, you have build, test and merge. In continuous delivery, we have automatically released to repositories and in continuous deployment, we have automatically deployed to production. So, now, what is CI? CI is called continuous integration. So, what exactly continuous integration means? Developers practicing continuous integration merge their changes back to the main branch as often as possible. Developers changes are validated by creating a build and running automated tests against the build. By doing so, you avoid integration challenges that can happen when waiting for release day to merge the changes into release branch. Let us understand it in a simplified term. So what developer does? You will be writing a lot of code every day, but you are not testing those code too frequently. So in continuous integration process, what happens? You are merging your code to the main branch in Git too frequently. And even your everyday changes are getting validated by running automated test. And this automated test who is doing? Here Jenkins CI feature is coming in picture. So continuous integration puts a great emphasis on testing automation to check that application is not broken whenever new commits are integrated into the main branch. So on doing any changes or merging all the changes in the final day of production release instead of that what we are doing every day whatever the code changes are happening we are merging it with the main branch after doing continuous integrations now then the next question comes what is continuous delivery so continuous delivery is an extension of continuous integration since it automatically deploys all code changes to a testing or to production environment after the build stage. So what we exactly do? Like developer is pushing the code continuously to GitHub or Bitbucket. Now those codes are passed through the build stage in Jenkins. Once the code build is done, you will see, you will keep validating every day that your code is getting, once your code changes is happening into your GitHub or Bitbucket. This means that on top of automated testing, you have an automated release process and you can deploy your application anytime by clicking a button. So here you are every day testing your code, every day you are checking the quality of code, every day you are checking if there is some problem in the code or not. So in theory if we talk with continuous delivery, you can release daily, weekly, even every night or whatever is your business requirement whatever is suitable for your business requirement however if you truly want to get the benefit of continuous delivery you should deploy to production as early as possible to make sure that you release a small batches that are easy to troubleshoot in case of any problem so what exactly we do suppose every day developers are working hard though those all changes once the build build phase is passed you are deploying too frequently into production so if there is any bug 
you can detect it very easily otherwise in the previous methods when jenkins was not available what used to happen one month developer are writing the code one final day all the code are getting merged to the production so in those cases if some bug happens it's really difficult to troubleshoot those kind of bugs that's why continuous integration and continuous delivery is useful now next question comes what is continuous deployment so the name of tool itself is ci slash cd cd means continuous delivery and continuous deployment so continuous deployment goes to one step further here i have shown you one diagram so first continuous integration then continuous delivery and then continuous deployment so continuous deployment goes one step further than continuous delivery with this practice every changes that passes all stage of your production pipeline is released to customers there is no human intervention and only the field test will prevent a new changes to be deployed to production so what we are doing via jenkins we are creating multiple stages so once any changes is getting committed to github or bitbucket it will automatically trigger the jenkins job which will start building the code into multiple stages of your infrastructure and once every stage looks good then it will automatically be moved to production for deployment so continuous deployment is an excellent way to accelerate the feedback loop with customers and tech pressure of team as there is a release day anymore so now there is not any release day anymore developers can focus on building software and they see their work go live minutes after they have finished working on it so this is benefit of continuous integration delivery and deployment now what is the benefit or what cost first you have to pay for continuous delivery you need a strong foundation in continuous integration and your test result or test suits need to cover enough of your code base deployment need to be automated the trigger is still manual but once the deployment is started there should not be any human intervention your team will most likely need to adopt new features or flag so that incomplete features do not affect customers in production so these are the prerequisite for adopting to continuous delivery now what gain what kind of benefits you are getting the complexity of deploying software has been taken away your team doesn't have to spend several days preparing for a release anymore you can release more often thus accelerate thus accelerating the feedback loop with your customers and this is much less pressure on decisions of small changes hence encouraging iterating faster now what costing you have to pay for continuous integration your team will need to write a automated test for each new feature improving or bug fix you need a continuous integration server that can monitor the main repository and run the tests automatically for every new commit is published to your github developer need to merge their changes as often as possible at least once a day what benefits you are getting with continuous integration less bug get ship to production as regressions are captured early by automated tests building the release day is easy as all integration issues has been solved early less context switching as developers are alerted as soon as they break the build and can work on fixing it before they move to another tasks testing costs are reduced drastically your continuous integration server can run hundreds of tests in matter of seconds and your qa team spends less time testing and can focus on significant improvement on the quality culture now when it comes to continuous deployment again you have to pay some cost what is that cost your testing culture needs to be at least best sorry your testing culture needs to be at its best the quality of your test will determine the quality of your releases your documentation process will need to keep up to date with the pace of deployments 
feature flag become an inherent part of process of releasing significant changes to make sure you can coordinate with other departments, supports, marketing or PR. What benefits you are getting? You can develop faster as there is no need to pause development for releases. Deployments pipelines are triggered automatically for every change. Releases are less risky and easier to fix in case of problem as you deploy a small batches of changes. Customers see a continuous stream of improvements and quality increases every day instead of every month or every quarter or a year. Now, as we understood, as we have already understood what is continuous integration, what is continuous delivery and what is continuous deployment. Now, let us learn one more topic today. So, what is plugin in Jenkins? So, plugins are primary means of enhancing the functionality of a Jenkins environment to suit organization or user specific needs. There are over a thousand different plugins which can be installed on Jenkins controller and to integrate various build tools, cloud providers, analysis tools and much more. So let us see it practically. Code of Jenkins. There is a section here called Manage Jenkins. So click on Manage Jenkins. It's asking for login again. Just login. So we, we went to Manage Jenkins. And in the Manage Jenkins, you have an option called Manage Plugins. So click on Manage Plugins. And here you can click on Available Plugins to see how many plugins are available for you. There is an option called Install Plugins, all the plugins which you have already installed. So in the Available Plugin, suppose I want to find a plugin related to Ansible. So just click on it, Ansible. So you see there is two plugins, Ansible Tower and Ansible. Suppose I want to install both plugins, just select these plugins and you can have two options. Install without restart, download now and install after restart. So I am clicking the second option. So what you can see, everything is succeeding. So now Ansible Tower is getting installed in our system. Ansible is already downloaded successfully. So now I will click on the button Restart Jenkins when installation is complete and no jobs are running. So once I click on it, what will happen? Jenkins will go shut down and it will automatically install everything related to this plugin. So now let us wait till the time our restart process is completed. Meanwhile, I will refresh our Jenkins server. So as you can see, its restart is done. Now let us log in again. So now I again logged in to our Jenkins server. Now if you again go to your Jenkins server, manage Jenkins sections. So if we go to manage plugins again, then you go to the install sections and you just verify that your Ansible has been installed or not. So you can see Ansible plugin and Ansible tower plugin both has been installed. So this way you can download and install any plugins using Jenkins UI. Now as you understood how to install the plugins, in coming lectures we will be doing many practical stuff related to Jenkins. Thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time.